So here we have the uh, Seat Mi on a 14 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you can see that we have reversing sensors. Given the size of the car, plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. I'm just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle and on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 21,872. If we move over into the middle section here, you will see that this car's got satellite navigation. This screen will uh, not only act as the satellite navigation for the car, but it gives you car info, media, and your phone. So you can connect up your phone to uh, make and receive phone calls. And if you hit the media section, uh, you can control the radio, the media player, which will inc include Bluetooth audio as well. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. So temperature, fan speed, direction of the air, that button turns the air conditioning on and back off again. You can determine whether the air is being recirculated inside the car or you're bringing in fresh air from outside the car. Below that, we have the CD player, the button, so you can adjust the radio from down here as well. Uh, but ultimately, you can see that we have AM and FM. Media, which will include the navigation and auxiliary input as well. The auxiliary input is just there for the car. And then at the bottom, we have a 12 volt charging socket and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.